Yes, I literally have a shotgun sitting shotgun because I can, America. Look at the paint sparkle at this angle. Man, this is a good looking truck. Anyways, we're gonna start the truck up. Mordecai 12 valve. And no, we did not name it Mordecai because it sounds like Malachi. We named it Mordecai from the Bluebird off the regular show and Devin would always randomly say Mordecai because it sounded like Malachi, thinking of the Bluebird from the regular show. Anyways, I just thought it was funny. Truck kind of was, it was blue and everything and I was like, oh cool. Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Crowd. We are actually going to revive, hopefully, the first gen. Yes, the um, mud truck. Yes, I sold the street first gen a little a little while back, a couple weeks ago, we didn't really touch on that too much because we had a lot going on, but we did sell the street truck, million mile 12 out, and we bought a mud truck. Same paint scheme, just extended cab, four wheel drive, mud truck. Pretty cool, so we're gonna try to revive this thing. We're going to get it jumped because it battery's dead and oh man, the electrical issues that thing probably has, I, I don't even wanna get on that topic right now, but we gotta get that done and then also, we gotta change out the transmission fluid. So we're gonna flush all the fluids out of that truck, get it running, hopefully get all the milky substance out of it, and hopefully that thing is running and driving again. Our first stop was gonna be AutoZone to pick up the necessary, I don't know if it's gonna be AutoZone or not, but uh, to pick up the necessary fluids for that first gen. And then also, really quick, you guys could be winning this truck. The giveaway for this truck goes live tonight. If you're seeing this the day the video posts, or if you're seeing this the day after the video post and it's the 24th of May, the giveaway for this thing is officially live. Stay tuned, but if you are watching it on May 23rd, which is when most of you are gonna see this, tonight at 11.59 p.m., the giveaway for this beautiful blue truck goes live. Change of plans because the starter on the first gen I think is either seized up from all the water that that truck was submerged into or the batteries are just literally completely shot. We are going to actually take this beautiful flatbed to the car wash, beautiful sunset right now, and get it washed up. And for the record guys, when I hear guys saying, oh you never clean, keep your trucks clean. Guys, we have so many trucks to keep clean that it's so difficult to do, like this truck, we kept it clean and then we got poured on with rain. This truck, we're trying to keep it clean, but if we're not driving it, we can't just swing into the car wash and wash it down real quick. And then in terms of like the black truck, some days we drive it, some days we don't. So it's just kind of like, it's just it's just really tough, quick save. Really tough to keep all the trucks clean. We're trying to do our best to do it, but it's just really, really tough. Good problem to have, right? Too many trucks to clean. But guys, it really is just tough to keep them clean. So we're actually gonna take this truck to the wash because Mike, the winner of this truck, is gonna be picking it up in two days approximately. So we're gonna be getting this truck washed up so that he can come and pick up his truck all nice and clean. As you can see from all the rain, this isn't like dirt and stuff. This is like rain stuff there. It's just like dirty and nasty. So we're gonna take this to the wash, give it a good spray down, and then uh, dry it off with some microfiber towel. So, so that this truck looks nice and presentable for Mike. And then another thing that we're gonna do, actually I'm gonna get the truck started though first so we can have a couple seconds to run here. Truck starts up awesome. But anyway, so we've got a new shifter knob for this. Now this I might actually keep. Sorry Mike, when you see this, I might actually keep the shifter because it was personalized for me when I first got the truck. And um, I believe his name was Kimball who made this for me. And so thank you so much man for making this. I do apologize for taking forever to get to this video. You know those times when you have the intention of doing something and then like you just keep forgetting to do it, yet it's always in the back of your mind but you just keep forgetting to do it? That's kind of the situation with like this for example. Like I've been trying to get it done and like every day I'm like I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna... By the time I get inside and I'm wore out and I'm done filming for the day and editing and all this stuff and I'm like crap I forgot to do this video on that thing again. So anyway so we're gonna get this swapped out here but uh you can see he's got the um, little, I guess you could say, uh, shifting map on the side, which kind of tells you obviously your gears and where they're at. And then on the top it just says LNP. 
which is pretty cool, one of the logos from our t-shirts. And then over here it has um, M, I'm guessing from Malachi, engraved on the side. Okay, looks like we're not taking that off because that will not come off. Um, I am like trying to twist that as hard as I possibly can and that thing just will not budge. So we are going to still go to get this truck washed. I'm gonna keep that for my next manual six speed truck and uh, we're gonna get this thing washed down. Well, I did get this beautiful 24 valve all shined up and polished up, but I'm gonna get back home and try to show you around the truck really quick before we run out of light. But look how dark the inside of the cab is with this 5% in. It is actually, it's, it's actually kinda cool. I don't know how well you can see the truck, but she's clean. We got all those nasty rain spots off the paint, which were annoying. As soon as we get here, there's a dead mosquito freaking smeared across the thing. I think Mike's gonna like his truck. What do you think, Reagan? Do you think he's gonna like it? I think people don't think it's that big until they see it in person and then they realize how wide it actually is. Yeah, this truck is super wide. Like, it doesn't look as wide. I mean, it's, it looks wide, but it doesn't look quite as wide as it would um, with a normal bed because of the flatbed. The flatbed just kind of is wider as it is, and so it kind of it has a different effect on it. I don't know how to say it, but this thing is just a tank. In terms of the blue truck, you guys, this is officially the first evening to enter tonight at 11.59 p.m. May 23rd is your first opportunity to enter to win this truck. Now, if it's not after 11.59 p.m., just wait until the 24th officially at midnight or the entire day the 24th to enter to win this truck. It's every $15 this is another entry to win, which is how we've always ran our giveaways these past several. And uh, it seems to work pretty well. People seem to enjoy it and you know, hey, they get great gear and they might also get a great, great truck. And I gotta say this truck, definitely one that is like, I don't know, it's just, it's one of one. Like this truck is just super, super, super clean super immaculate and i know it's got a little dust and dirt on it but we'll get it cleaned off and this thing is just amazing and it runs so 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 good but anyways guys you officially have an opportunity to win this truck in this giveaway we're going to run a little bit longer because we've got a lot going on this next uh month or so we are getting married in june so that's super exciting and then we've also got honeymoon stuff and just a whole bunch of stuff going on and so we're just making this giveaway extra long so that we don't have to like have a time crunch with everything else we already have going on and what do you think of like all the new stuff coming up because we might also be buying a farm in ohio like we've got a lot of new stuff just all the time really how do you feel about the pressure of everything the newness i guess like like new here new here new here new here like excitement Every, I feel like everybody keeps asking me that, especially your family, like, how do you feel? Because you got a wedding coming up and we're launch lawn care business. Now you got a property. And, but I just buckle in for the ride and <laughs> enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, we, we kind of have like a new game plan every day. So it's kind of like um, certain aspects and principles of it stay the same, which is just like work hard, work smart, and just enjoy life. But in other areas like plans do adapt and they change and they progress daily so it's always something new what are you working on here she's working on a painting intake my video will be going up same time this is up so yeah okay and yeah then, uh, a little clean up a little bit underneath the hood so she's, rosine's gonna look <laughs> look like really nice under the hood because she's yeah. taking everything out and redoing all like she's stripping all the paint off and then doing it all back brand new versus me. I ordinarily just like pop the things off and just spray right over top of them. And it's got, like blue yeah, and black. I got so and... much crap from my last video on the 12 valve cover. <laughs> See, listen, listen, she, like... she currently will like read comments and then like take note and then like make sure they don't have anything to complain about the next time. I'm just kind of like, dude, what the heck? If they complain, they got, all... everybody's going to find something to complain about. But she like makes sure like there's nothing to complain about. Like it's got to be done so perfect. <laughs> if you watch this video, I'm in it. I'm like, yeah, there's a little speck. I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm yeah, apologizing. she, she, yeah, she's trying to give everybody no reasons to complain, but they'll find something usually. I don't know how you're just so you. She does have a YouTube channel, by the way. If you guys want to go follow what she does, I'll leave it right here. It's Rosine24B, right? Yeah. Okay, just no, no, I thought you changed it. I know, I did change it. Okay. But yeah, so anyways, guys, that's probably going to be a wrap on this video. I just kind of wanted to go through, like, one last 
cleaning session with this truck, get it all shined up so you guys can see it clean one last time and kind of just do a little recap of the truck. I'll just go over a couple things right now. So this truck is running, of course, 35 by 1250 Toyos in the rear, negative 265 offset dually wheels, positive 115 inners, they're 20 inch wheels, front and rear, they're fuel Triton wheels, 35 by 1350 Toyo in the front. It's a zone five inch lift, suspension lift of course. It's a 2002 24 valve, six speed manual, four wheel drive. It's got ARP head studs. It's got a fast 150 lift pump. It's got ISPRO gauges, SMB cold air intake, SMB intake elbow, and a South Bend dual disc clutch. But other than that, guys, I mean, she's, I mean, in terms of power, other than those mods, which might increase a little bit, but most of them are just like preventative maintenance to help it run efficient. And, a lot longer so I mean it's it's an awesome truck I think Mike's really really gonna love it thank you guys so much for all the love and support thank you so much to everybody who participated in this giveaway I promise all of the orders are officially going out so for the way I do apologize but all the orders are going out now we did contact all of our vendors and we did a massive push of order so they are all sending out now so thank you thank you so much everybody for all of the support in that giveaway hopefully you guys all enjoy your merch but anyways guys thank you so much for all the love and support i will catch you in the next video which might i'm not sure what the next video is going to be it might or might not be mike picking up his track but we'll see anyways guys i'll catch you in the next one peace